In today's video, we will cover fixing water damage like this and give this piece a winter-inspired makeover. Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome back to the channel. I have another video for you. This is an MDF piece of furniture I found off Facebook Marketplace. You can see it has some pretty significant water damage here that needs to be repaired. I typically don't buy pieces of furniture that are MDF, but I was having a hard time finding a dresser with a flat front locally, so this is the piece that I ended up going with. First step is always removing the hardware, and then I'm going to thoroughly clean the piece. I'm using Dawn Dish Soap with some warm tap water. I go over the piece with a soapy cloth, scrubbing it, and then go back over the piece with a clean, lint-free cloth and some water to give it a good rinse, and then let that thoroughly dry. Today's video is also part of the Winter Cozy collaboration hosted by Carol over at Flipping Drawers. Thank you so much for doing that. After the surface was dry, I grabbed my 80 grit sandpaper and I'm going over the areas with water damage. When MDF gets wet, it bubbles up, so I'm using that 80 grit just to make the bubble area smooth with the rest of the dresser. And then I grab the 220 grit sandpaper, go over the area that I did with the 80 grit to make that smooth, and then I also went over the entire surface of the dresser just to give it a nice scuff stand to get it ready for primer. For those of you new to flipping furniture, MDF stands for Medium Density Fiberboard. It is wood fibers mixed with resin and pressed together. So sometimes I refer to MDF as pressed wood. It has wood fibers in it, but it is not a solid wood piece. But MDF pieces still can be flipped into beautiful furniture pieces, which you will see if you stick through here till the end. After sanding, I knock the big dust off with a feather duster and then come back with a damp, lint-free cloth and wipe away the remaining dust. All right, I'm trying out a new-to-me product. This is Aqua Coat Cabinet Grain Filler. Aqua Coat sent this product to me to try. It comes with that yellow spreader or smoother. Just apply the product, press it down into the grain, and then use that yellow scraper to smooth out the surface. The areas that I sanded down into the MDF have a different texture than the rest of the dresser, so I'm just applying the aqua coat in those areas. Now, I have new handles that I have bought for the piece, so I'm using plastic wood filler here to fill in one of the holes. I let that set overnight and then grabbed a 220 grit sanding sponge, went over the aqua coat and the wood filled areas. For primer today, I am using Zinzer's Ben Primer. It's a shellac primer. This dresser is kind of a dark color. I mean, it's not wood, it's not stain, but it does have a dark color and I'm going with a very light color. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that shellac primer and roll it on. I'm using a microfiber roller and a liner in my paint tray so I can just toss those after I'm done. I apply one coat of primer, let that dry for a few hours and then come back and add a second coat. So I do two coats total of the primer. When the primer was dry, I grabbed some 220 grit sandpaper and put it over an old sanding block and lightly went over the surface and then dusted the sanding dust away with a lint-free cloth. I misplaced my flimsy 220 grit sanding sponge somewhere in my workshop, so I had to go this route. Okay, now we are ready to paint. I guess I didn't think it was important to show you <laughs> what paint I was using, but you guys, if you've watched my channel before, I have the bare chalk paint loaded in my gun. It is downtown gray. I have used that color before on my channel, 
and I have it watered down to 20% in my 3M AccuSpray gun and I'm just spraying the first coat of paint. I guess my mind space and I just, I apologize for not filming that for you guys. Now in between the coats of primer and paint, I kind of started working on a little arts and craft project. I want to add some snowflake decals to this dresser. So I have some casting resin. It comes in a two part mixture and you wanna mix a one to one ratio. This little kit I bought off Amazon. I will make sure to put a link down below in the description for you all. But it comes with the part A solution, part B solution, the little measuring cups that have little marks on the side so you can measure out the one-to-one -one ratio, and little stir sticks. So the only thing extra that I had to do was to get the mold and buy gloves to wear. This stuff is really easy to use and it does feel like you're doing an arts and craft project. You just pour part A solution into the cup Add the same amount of the B solution, stir it really well, and then pour it slowly into the silicone molds. I have three different snowflake molds sizes that I'm using. I ordered all those off Amazon as well, so I will link those down below. And I just want to do kind of like an anthropology type snowflake look on this dresser. When you pour this solution, just watch the amount. You wanna make sure that you don't pour too much. If you do, you're gonna give a rounded backside to your snowflakes and you wanna have a flat surface so these will adhere well to the dresser. The resin takes about 10 minutes to cure. You will know that it's ready because it turns white and it's really easy just to pull them out of the molds. And I did this over and over and over and made tons and tons of snowflakes. But it was really fun, so I didn't feel like I was working. I actually enjoyed doing this. Once I had all my snowflakes made, I went ahead and kind of started to space them out. And then I grabbed my E6000 glue. This is industrial strength bonding glue. And I'm just going to work my way. I did the four corners of the dresser and just kind of spacing and placing the snowflakes and then gluing them down. And I let that set overnight. I do have to admit that I glued down all the snowflakes that I had made, decided that I need more, so I got my resin back out, made more snowflakes, kept gluing. I just went absolutely nuts with the snowflakes, but I loved how it turned out. So the dresser ends up being a little bit too gray. I have a decal I'm going to put in the middle and it has more blue in it than I originally thought. So I got dolphin blue from Bear Chalk Paint. I'm just adding it to the downtown gray that I had left in my spray cup. And I mix those together, add a little bit of water to water it down for spraying. And I ended up getting this really beautiful gray blue and it was actually perfect for the decal that I have. Once I get the paint all loaded up into my gun, I go ahead and I spray two coats of this downtown gray and dolphin blue mixture that I made, letting the paint dry for two hours in between each coat, and then I let all that dry for a few hours. And I just want to note here, you can see how much more snowflakes that I actually added to the piece. Okay, after the paint was thoroughly dry, I lightly sanded the piece with a thousand grit sanding sponge, dusted the dust residue off with a lint-free cloth, and then I set my intentions on getting the center decal into place on the dresser. This is a reindeer wall decal that I got off Walmart. I will definitely make sure to put that link down below in the description for you. And actually all the products that I use today, I try to link all of them down in the description for you guys. It's a large wall decal, so it does come in three different pieces. 
And I just tape them up with some painter's tape to kind of check location and placement before I actually stick the decal onto the dresser. Once I was happy with the placement, I kind of worked through each piece, starting to peel the backing off about halfway through the section, place it on there, smooth it down, pull the backing up even more, place even more down. Now on these wall decals, they're sticky enough to stick to your piece, but if you get an air bubble, you can pull it back and then place it back down again. It's your paint is thoroughly dry. It's not going to pull your paint up. After I got each piece placed on there, I went over it with my Pampered Chef scraper just to make sure that it was pressed down all the way and that there were no air bubbles underneath. And I continued this process until the entire reindeer was stuck onto the dresser. Now you can see the wall decal, there are spots where it goes over the crack in the drawer. So I just grabbed a razor blade, cut down the middle and then press the edges around the drawer just to make it look more fluid. Right now it's time for a top coat. I again, I guess I didn't think you guys needed to see what top coat I use, but if you watch my channel, you know that I prefer Verithane's Ultimate Polyurethane in a water-based formula, and I like the Crystal Clear Satin formula. So that is what I'm spraying on for the top coat. I do three coats of the top coat, letting it dry for two hours in between each coat. After the last coat of top coat was dry, I grabbed some rub and buff in the gold leaf and the silver leaf, and I want to make these snowflakes stand out even more. So I'm just applying some on my finger and rubbing it over the surface of the snowflakes. The silver is a little bit softer color, and I have this nice soft blue paint color. So I did the majority of the snowflakes silver, and then added a little bit of the gold snowflakes, just little pops here and there. If you get some rub and buff on your painted surface, just put a little bit of mineral spirits on a paper towel and it wipes right off. All right, time to put the new hardware on. I found these crystal knobs off Amazon and they just give it the perfect touch. I decided the piece needed some legs. I didn't have any silver legs in stock, so I'm going to make these silver. I didn't film it, but I sanded them with some 220 grit sandpaper, sprayed them with gray primer, and this is the silver Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint that I'm 
putting on the legs. And then I come back after that's dry and add a clear coat of the matte formula. Once the legs were dry, I attached them to the bottom of the dresser. I am so sorry for my filming mishaps. I don't normally have this many in a video. I'm not really sure what was going on, but hopefully you guys kind of get where I'm going with all this and have been able to follow along. If you're still with me, thank you so much. All right, this piece is finished. Here is a quick look at our before and that nasty water damage that we had to fix. And here is our after. That top looks so much better without that water damage. Doing the snowflakes was so time consuming, but I think it just gave it the perfect touch. Those snowflakes look absolutely beautiful. This dresser looks absolutely nothing like it did before. I think the gray blue with its snowflakes, the wall decal, and the crystal knobs just came together to make this just a wonderful winter cozy piece of furniture. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will pop up a playlist of the other flippers, so make sure to watch their videos. That's all I have for you, as always. Until next time.